Content strategists can be very expensive. I know because I am one. Feel me? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? Sometimes we're going to need a content strategist to help us out with what works, what doesn't, what's good with our analytics, what's not. What should I post? What shouldn't I post? And content strategists can be very expensive. I know because I am one. Feel me? However, with AI, things have changed a little bit to where you can get really good information by yourself with ChatGPT. So I'm gonna show you a trick on how to get your analytics downloaded, then put into ChatGPT for it to analyze in a matter of like seconds. It's really crazy how quickly it does it. Let me get into where to find your analytics, right? So let's jump into business suite. This is my business suite, right? Here we go. This is me, you see me, we out here, we outside. Now, if I wanna find my, and I'll, I'll drop the link too, I'll drop the link too. Now I love Business Suite because you're allowed to schedule out your reels for both Facebook and Instagram. You're allowed to manage multiple pages at the same time, but also you're able to see the monetization tools from Meta. So if you're able to monetize on Instagram, it shows you. If you're able to monetize on Facebook, it shows you. But for this situation, we're going into Business Suite just to get the analytics and download a CSV. If I go over here and I hit Insight and I go to Content, this is going to bring up the content that I've had based off, let's say the last 28 days, okay? What I wanna do is export my data. So I would go here, I would do Instagram. You could do this with Facebook too, but I'm gonna go with Instagram. I'll probably hit maybe this last quarter and I'll hit generate. I'll just do it again. I already have this file, so we're gonna skip just watching it Export. So I'm gonna go into ChatGPT. Shout out to ChatGPT. I've already downloaded the CSV file. Now I'm going to upload it to ChatGPT and I'm going to put a prompt that I already have typed out that I'll read to y'all. Based on the Instagram insight data I provided, you will analyze the data to determine what times to post content and receive the most engagement, type of content that uh, was most engaging, what captions work long or short, and to develop a seven day posting schedule based on the insight from this quarter. So, boom, analyzes it first. It says, hey, here are all the different parts of the spreadsheet and this is what it means. And so now we're gonna analyze it. So boom, based off what I gave it, look, best times for posting. The times with the highlighted average engagement, the highest average engagement is 12 p.m., 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. Particularly posts at 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. show significantly higher engagement compared to other times. Meaning I didn't have to go through the file itself of the whole quarter, I gave it a chat GPT and it told me my best times to post. Most engaging content, IG Reels have the highest uh, engagement followed by IG carousels and IG image. This is suggested that Reels are particularly effective in engaging your audience. So when I'm figuring out what type of content format to pick, this literally is telling me which one works compared to all the ones that I've done. Now, when we get into captions, captions with longer, uh, posts with longer captions, more than 10 words, tend to have a higher engagement compared to those of a shorter caption. This indicates that your audience might appreciate more informative and detailed captions. So if I was like 
Should I write short form captions? Should I work, write sh long? Like, boom, this literally told me based off what you've done, these are the ones that worked. And now cool, now it's giving me kind of a gauge of, all right, Monday, I'm gonna need you to post a reel in the afternoon, like around 2 p.m. Uh, have a detailed caption that provides information, uh, valuable information and storytelling. Tuesday, do a carousel, do it around 11 a.m., right? Wednesday, post around 12 p.m. Uh, when the engagement seems to be peaked. Now, Thursday, try an IG image. Post in the evening, like around 5 p.m. Saturday, these are the days that can be for experimenting with different types of content. You could try IGTV, which is the longer form, right? Um, or another reel in a carousel and post in the highest engagement times, 12 or two. This literally gave you a posting strategy. In a matter of seconds, you saw how quickly that was. I gave it the file, right? And let me see if I could pull up the file so you can see how it looks. You can see as much as, as you can, right? So this is the spreadsheet that I gave it, right? So it'll tell who did it, the description, publish time, the link to it and what post type it is. And it, I mean, you can see how much it just analyzed based off what I've posted this, this quarter so far, right? Now, if you didn't post a lot, this won't show a lot. If you post a good amount, it'll show a good amount because I did the quarter, right? I did the quarter. As a quick recap, log into your business suite. That is on business.facebook.com. Go into your insights, go into the content tab, then download however you wanna do. Last seven days, last 28 days, quarter, whatever it is, download that CSV. You're gonna put that CSV and put it into ChatGPT. You need to have the paid version because you want that data, data analyst uh, feature, okay? So you want the paid version for this to, to happen. You're gonna upload that CSV, say, hey, I and whatever you wanted to say, I need to know what times I could post. I need to know what, what posts actually worked, what captions worked, long or short, and then give me a seven day strategy. I'm gonna say seven day, I wouldn't go anything really further than that because it'll get finicky. You know, you could kind of control it a little bit better based off the seven days. Y'all should love me after that one. <laughs> that Hold on, before this all I need y'all, because majority of y'all watch my videos, but y'all not subscribed. So, I don't know why. If I added value, like, subscribe, and put that bell, please and thank you, and I'm going to give you way more videos because y'all did that.